だ We gotta talk about the、uh, Supreme Court, Clarence Thomas, John Roberts. And basically, I'm not gonna say all nine of them are thugs, but six of them definitely got strong arm tendencies, man. I mean, John Roberts, I mean, Clarence Thomas has basically been the fall guy to deer in the headlights, you know, between his whack ass wife and his odd behavior. Uh, you know, half million dollar fucking、uh, vacations with the boys, all the expenses paid with the boys, and,、uh, you know, sitting up there ruling on cases. He tried to say that, you know, he never handled any of their cases, and now, it, like everything else that he's been saying, as soon as he says it two days later, here, they, here comes some, you know, The Hill, or fucking、uh, whatever, somebody, some media outfit with the receipts. And he is turning into, like, you know, a pathetic. We always knew it. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny. It's, it's not funny. It's just, especially like being black. We, we, we tend to become monolithic about people that are black that rise to positions of, you know, height, stature, importance, all that. You know, we, we kind of, well, we used to, I don't know about anymore, but we try to, like, you know, you get a title in front of your name, you know, doctor, professor, whatever, you know, even registered nurse. You, 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 get some, you get some social status because, you know, you put in an effort to become a little bit extra. Thurgood Marshall becomes a Supreme Court Associate Justice in the whole nation. You know, yay, we still overcome. Right on, baby. Power to the people. Clarence Thomas becomes nominated to become a Supreme Court judge, and everybody goes, What the fuck? And then Anita Hill comes out. And tries to say what a disgusting pervert he is. And white people will circle around him like, why are you trying to denigrate this black man? And black people are like, okay, we know that motherfucker did it. Clarence Thomas has never been trusted by the people. Maybe, maybe because Clarence Thomas has tried to Disassociate himself from the people for so many years. I, I, you know, and I'm not saying that because he married a white woman. I have nothing against interracial marriages. I'm just saying that Clarence Thomas, you would expect that you know, someone achieving that great height, that great power, would occasionally try to rule in favor of something. That he could legitimately rule in favor of that would help out people that look like him? Not Clarence Thomas. No, no, no. Clarence Thomas has been ultra right wing, conservative, Christian leaning ever since he flat his fat rump in that justice's chair. You know, and I mean. There's some derogatory terms, like, you know, we call him Uncle Clarence. And then there's some shit about, you know, a little fuzzy, furry, ring tailed animal with the, you know, with the banded eyes. And then, then, then there's, you know, other shit, like, you know, we could call him Ruckus. But he's, he's not unique, but his position. Being a black person and sitting on the bench of the Supreme Court and having no compassion for his people whatsoever. Not one iota. Not none. And that's exactly why he's there. Bush put him there because he was in the right place at the right time. When Marshall stepped down, he knew he, that was like,、uh, we got to have at least one black person on.、Uh, I'm going to catch hell if I don't put a black person back up there. But I got to have a black person that's white on the inside. I need an Oreo.、Uh, 
step forward, Mr. Clarence Thomas. Guess what? He's a graduate of Yale, too, so I got all the dope on him. He's going to be a good one. Bingo. This broad talking about you did this. No, then welcome to the old boys club. You're going to be the next black associate justice on the Supreme Court. And that's how we got him. And from the day he got there, he has made this country suffer with his puritanical, just oddball necessity, out of need, got to be the dissension. The only time he's in the majority is if the majority opinion is going to suck the life out of the people. If it's anything that gives the people hope or rules in favor of the people, the law actually stands up for the people that it was written for, 99.9 tenths percent of the time, Clarence Thomas wrote the dissent. Just like when eight other justices said that it was okay to investigate Trump and Clarence Thomas said no. And then we find out that, you know, his wife was having uh, lunch with Trump and, you know, his fucking secretary, you know, chief of staff. It's crazy. I mean, there is no way that... Now we, I mean, there's no way that, 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 that Clarence Thomas should be able to walk away from this. But yet and still, the Chief Justice, John Roberts, who's not technically really, it's more of a ceremonial title, uh, kind of like, you know, uh, when Pence was president of the Senate, but John Roberts is every day. Just when shit goes wrong, they got to have somebody to yell at, and that would be John Roberts. Well, Clarence Thomas has shit, like, made shit go really wrong over the Supreme Court right now. All of them are, uh, the, the, the Supreme Court has low, has the lowest, out of all the government entities, the Supreme Court, out of the top three, the Supreme Court has the lowest public opinion polls. Everybody in this nation thinks that the Supreme Court sucks, and unfortunately, everybody ain't wrong. The corruption that's on the court is coming out. The 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 application of, of, of theological philosophy to law whenever they get the opportunity. And one reason they have the opportunity to do so much damage to the public in the name of law and order is because the people that are supposed to make the laws have let so much shit drop through the cracks because they don't want to deal with pleasing voters or losing voters or switching allegiances just to take up this cause because it's legit. That's the political downside. Politics is politics is in fact has has created its own corruption on just simple ideals like right and wrong. Everything becomes political. But this judicial thing with the Supreme Court they get to have the last laugh like, oh, y'all don't want to do it? Y'all don't want to do it? Well, guess what? We're going to do it. And we're going to do it our way. And it's going to have shit to do with the Constitution because y'all fucked that up because you didn't make it part of the Constitution. So now us conservative Christian right-wing leading majority motherfuckers and sometimes we impress the other three, one or two of them to join us. We gonna fuck the country and we gonna sit here and go la di da 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 and we gonna take our half a million dollar vacation with the boys at Little Hideaway Ranch is owned by billionaire donors that just love the Republican Confederacy. That is Clarence Thomas. That is John Roberts. That's Alito. That's Kavanaugh. That's his, that's the buddy, Neil Gorsuch, Amy Coney Bryant, 
That's what they all about. That's why they there. They getting paid to fuck the country. And they getting paid well. When the last time somebody took your raggedy ass on a half million dollars, you're lucky if you can get somebody who can take you to Atlantic City on the $300 weekend special. Clarence Thomas, rusty ass. Clarence Thomas and his family. Private yachts. Not just, I'm not talking like little sailboats. I'm talking about shit with a fucking football field in the middle of it. Private jets at his disposal. And he out there posing with his RV talking about, you know, I'm just a poor guy, average RV guy. You lying mother, uh, never mind. But the thing is, how can we trust these people to come down with the right decision, a lawful decision, when they got no business being there because they in bed with the people that are trying to be in, in the case. I'm not going to give up a half a million dollar vacation if all I got to do is rule in favor of some idiot that thinks like I do anyway. And there we sit with the Supreme Court of the United States of America. Well, that's it. I mean, you know, y'all can do what y'all want to with it, you know, sit on it, marinate on it, think about it, fucking regurgitate on it. Right now, it really don't matter to me because I said what I had to say. So peace out and God bless as always from Uncle Ricky and Uncle Ricky's house.